there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. <laughs> I noticed that Bill was messing around with Kodak on the couch and he was having fun. <laughs> I thought it was pretty hilarious, so I wanted to capture it on video. When I made the first video, I was testing the waters. I wanted to see if N2 could gain an audience. I thought he was a very special and unique cat. Oh, I'm so hungry. Feed me, please. When we put Dexter on YouTube, well, he's just doing it for fun. When I saw it getting up to 15,000, I was like, God, this is good. Now we've got about half a million people watching now. Kodiak the Boxer. Boxers are known to be fun-loving dogs, but do boxers actually laugh? <laughs> Kodiak's laughing video when he was a puppy garnered more than a million hits. Now there's a new toddler in the house. So is Kodiak still laughing? This is Kodiak. He's our fur baby, our boxer. Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy. Sit down. My wife and I had just started dating, and we both decided that we wanted to get a dog. She was pretty set on getting a lab, and I had always wanted a boxer. My best friends have two labs, and they're great with their kids, and that's what I wanted, but he really wanted a boxer. The demeanor of a boxer is kind of unlike any other dog. They're, they're like clowns. Kodiak has really added to both of our lives. Bill is just a lot more active. He runs with him. I try to exercise each morning. Kodiak, being a big boxer, isn't much of a runner. He's pretty good for up to about two miles. And then he'll eventually just lay down and we'll walk back to the house. I kind of had the feeling one day we were going to have kids, so I wanted to make sure that we had a dog that was good with kids. Kodiak's a really great dog. He's really great with Brielle. He, the moment we brought her home, I think that he knew that she was a part of us. He's very gentle with her. <laughs> He's definitely a member of the family. Kodiak definitely has his own personality traits. Who's here? Who's here? When somebody comes to the door, Kodiak tends to go a little crazy. Who's here? I might have something to do with that. Who's here? Ever since he was a puppy, the only thing Kodiak would really respond to is if I said, Who's here? And he'll bark Who's here? and run towards the door. Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? And then he'll come back and look at me like, like I faked the throw with a ball or something. Bill, my husband, he's um, notorious for messing around with people and with animals just for his fun. Um, he kind of said that he got Kodiak for his amusement. So I noticed that Bill was missing out, missing around with Kodiak on the couch and he was having fun and I thought it was pretty hilarious so I wanted to capture it on video. <laughs> he's trying to smash you in the face with his paw. <laughs> 
I was very amazed about how many hits the video got. We do get a lot of comments on the video. Some are good, some are just very much like, ah, it's not the boxer laughing, it's him. And of course it's him laughing. It just was kind of funny the way he was wiggling around on the couch. It actually looked like the dog was laughing, so. I think boxers are very popular. And when you see the title, Boxer Puppy Laughing, now in hindsight, I'd have to click on it too. <laughs> when Kodiak was young, we always would take him to the beach and to the dog park. I always would say park or beach to see if he'd have any kind of reaction to the words, and he just, Kodiak just doesn't seem to notice the words whatsoever. He does notice when I'm going towards my car, then he'll get excited Kodiak wants to come with us. Kodiak loves the beach. He loves running around um, in the sand, go get toys and bring them back to you, and he's a wild child on the beach. He's great with Brielle. Um, he's just, he's wonderful. And I, he's actually changed my opinion to where when we get a second dog, we'll actually just get another boxer. Kodiak is definitely a big boxer. Kodiak is a big, dorky, gentle clown. Just a very kind dog. Meet Dexter. Huskies can be dogged in an argument. Or doggone cute enough to say I love you. I love you. Good boy, I love you. Huskies are reputedly difficult, almost impossible to train to do tricks. Yet Dexter's video proves the exception to the rule. Now that his favorite humans have a newborn, can Dexter master the trick of being a good big brother? This is my buddy, Dexter. Mm. I've always wanted a husky from a very early age, about eight years old. About three years ago, we decided to get Dexter. A lot of huskies, you can't let off the lead because they just run. It's their personality, just to focus and run. But we trained Dexter since he was six months old. I can't wait till Dexter's older. We can let him off the lead. He'll be much older then. He'll have to be. Well, hopefully, he'll be about six by and then. And tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can let him off the lead. And he won't chase other dogs. Saves me a big run. Husky's personality is completely different to other dogs, and they're very hard to train. If you're getting a husky, do a lot of reading on them. Um, look on the internet. If you know anybody, ask them questions. Dexter, he's just the way he is. He's like lovable. He treats you part of his pack. Sometimes he tries to challenge me because I'm the alpha male. So I challenge him back. 
but I just go face to face really closely. I've been told not to, but this is the way I do it. Dexter's definitely my dog, yeah. Dexter can get away with me getting, giving him treats. Um, we don't usually give him food that we eat, but every now and then I'll give him a sly food like biscuits. I'm a bit soft with my dogs. <laughs> But his favourite food is raw chicken and bones, because that's what they eat in the wild, so that's what we give them here. Dexter loves Noah. When Noah's sitting on her laps, Dexter comes over and Noah just laughs, he loves him. My wife does the training for Dexter. I have tried him. I've done a couple of tricks, which has been fine, but Pick my wife's got more patience. Uh oh. Pick up the trowel. Pick up the trowel. Pick up the trowel. Uh oh. Pick up the trowel. Pick it up. Pick up the trowel. Uh oh. Pick up the trowel. Pick it up. Good boy. When we put Dexter on YouTube, um, where well, he's just doing it for fun. Come here. Sit. When I saw it getting up to 15,000, I was like, God, this is good. Now we've got about half a million people watching now. Uh, 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 sit. Lay down. Whatever. Good boy. My favourite thing about Dexter is the crawling, because that's the one I taught him. <laughs> and the way we did it is put a treat in front of him and then put further distance away. And he got it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Jump! Good boy. I love you. I love you. Good boy. Six. Sit down. One, wait, two, uh, one, two, five balls. Good boy. Go bounce, go bounce. No, uh-oh, go bounce. Good boy. Good boy. Husky's personality are great. They're very loyal. They're just great dogs. that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard and he drank all the milk, all the orange juice and hey. all of Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Dexter's definitely a pain in the butt but very lovable. N2, short for Nightcrawler 2, named after a favorite black cat. Meet Kona, a Siamese wild child and N2's arch enemy. Together, these bickering felines have talked their way through more than 30 videos, and their love-hate antics have rocketed Kona's trip to the vet into double viral gold. But what's life like for these beauties in a household where one favorite human is obsessed with making cat videos and the other favorite human is allergic to cats? I adopted N2 from a shelter, the Humane Society. All the other cats saw their escape plan, their moment of freedom, and they left. But N2 snuggled up right beside me, and he felt like he was home. I was really happy that N2 chose me. I had N2 before I was married, and N2 was a huge part of my life. So I couldn't just let him go. Uh, and my wife, Janet, she did accept N2. Hey. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
good boy, huh? It did occur to me to ask Clayton when we were dating, because I know that I'm allergic to cats, it, it occurred to me to ask if he would get rid of N2, but Clayton, I think Clayton would have sooner gotten rid of me, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. N2 was not part of our wedding. It would have been great to have him in a tuxedo like he was for Preppy Cat. When Clayton started doing the videos, I was really impressed at his first results. There are times where I have walked around the apartment with the camera around my neck, uh, trying to get shots of N2. How are you doing, N2? I filmed N2 for the first time because I felt I almost had to because he wouldn't stop talking to me. Like, he just constantly meowed, meowed, meowed. Hello? 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 My name is N2. Yes, I can talk. The reason I posted the video on YouTube was to um, see what would happen. I wanted to see if N2 could gain an audience. I oh, thought I'm he so was a very hungry, special please. and unique cat. Oh, I'm so hungry. Can't you see my ribs? I'll tell you the story about how we got Kona. We went to a pet store and kind of like N2 probably, she picked us. She came over to us and they said, usually Siamese don't last very long for adoption. So she was kind of an impulse, <laughs> an impulse purchase. Kona is just a huge mess. She is just crazy. She's full on crazy. You can't train Kona. She didn't come with an instruction manual. When we adopted Kona uh, shortly after the first episode, Kona took things to a new level. Oh, so peaceful and quiet without Kona around. Time for me to daydream about the time she turned into a burrito at the vet. Oh, that was a really good day. Oh, yes. Now, Kona, you be good. Profanity! Kona, you gotta be nice. Uh, no talking like that. Okay. Now, let's get those ear mites looked at. Burrito cat. That's just raw footage of Kona freaking out at the vet. I'm sorry, sweetheart. You don't know who I am. I'll mess you up. Okay, legs in. Get this thing off me. I'll tear you a new one. I know. Where's your head? No. There it is. Okay, here, try that again. No. Okay. No. I know. You're like a little destroy. I really enjoyed Burrito Cat. It was off the cuff, it was natural, it was Kona. I really promote um, pet adoption. I have found that adopted pets are sometimes the best pet you can um, obtain before each video. Um, I have a little um, annotation that uh, shows www.adoptedpet.com. Um, it's a nonprofit organization, and what they do is they have over 12,000 shelters all over North America, and they um, encourage pet adoption. Hi. Hi. I like to see that Clayton's happy, so it makes me happy too. I realized that I wanted to do a series for N2. And then you have to come up with ideas. The cats have to accomplish that too. Then green screens, things like that, uh, became involved. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. There have been times where I would have liked to have um, possibly gone out with my wife, but I've had to complete things. 
you only have so much time to film the cat, so there have been times where I've had to make sacrifices. Certainly there are times when I think Clayton could spend less time doing, doing N2, but I'm, I generally try to understand that he has deadlines too, to a certain extent. Can I use the computer when you're done? So we're all making condition. sacrifices. Yeah, <laughs> we're all making sacrifices. Kona is the, the punk rocker rebel, ready to pack her bags at any moment and leave home. Then to, he's helped me in so many different areas, um, just getting through the most difficult parts of my life, um, the lowest parts and the best time of my life since Jen and I have been married. N2 is the opposite of unlucky in many ways. He's given me so much joy in my life. That's all for this episode. And if you haven't uploaded a video of your pet, what are you waiting for? Give it a try, and you just might say, my pet's gone viral.